So in this video, we are going to learn how to delete Google Calendar event when event is updated in Google Sheet. Now suppose guys, you have all the details of the upcoming events from Google Calendar into a Google Sheet where your team members are going to manage those upcoming events. Now you want that whenever a team member will update the status of the event in your Google Sheet as cancelled or deleted, you want to delete that same event from your Google Calendar as well. So let me tell you, you can actually automate this process. So in this automation, whenever the event status will be updated as cancelled or delete in Google Sheet, automatically, instantly the same event will be deleted from our Google Calendar account as well. We are going to search for that event in Google Calendar and delete it. So if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pabli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name it as Google Sheets to Google Calendar. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow will open in front of us. And here in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is here in our Google Sheet, we have the details of each and every upcoming event from our Google Calendar. As you can see in my Google Calendar, I have all of these upcoming events and in my Google Sheet, we have the details of each and every event over here. So here guys, what we are going to do, first we are going to connect this Google Sheet with Pavli Connect in the trigger window. So that whenever I mark the status of the event as cancelled in my Google Sheet, I will get the details of that complete event which was marked cancelled in Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect. And after that, this automation workflow will trigger, it will start. And after that, the details of the event which we have received, the event which we have cancelled in our Google Sheet, we are going to cancel that exact same event inside our Google Calendar account as well. So let's see how it is done. Now here in our trigger window, in Choose App, search for Google Sheets over here. Just select Google Sheets. And after that, in trigger event from this drop down, select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. After selecting our trigger event, Pabli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Google Sheet with Pabli Connect over here. So to make this connection, we just have to follow the help text given below over here. Copy this webhook URL from here, and then we will just go to our Google Sheets account. Now we'll go to extensions, add-ons, and click on get add-ons. After clicking on get add-ons, we will reach to this Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in search app, we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. Just search for it. Now here you can see that Pabli Connect Webhooks, this add-on is already installed in my Google Sheets. You just have to install this same add-on into your own Google Sheets account. And after installing it, just refresh your Google Sheets once. This is a very important step. Now after refreshing this Google Sheet, once again go to extensions and then you can see Pabli Connect Webhooks. This option can be seen over here. Just hover on it and click on initial setup. After clicking on initial setup, this box appears in front of us and it is basically asking us three things. First one is the selected sheet, that the data from which sheet we want to send to Pabli Connect. So right now in my Google spreadsheet, you can see we have only one sheet as sheet one. So by default, it has selected sheet one over here. Then it is asking us for the webhook URL. Now here in this field of webhook URL, we have to paste the exact same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. Just copy this webhook URL from here and then paste it over here. After pasting the webhook URL, the next thing it asks us is the trigger column. Now trigger column is going to be the column guys in which we are going to update the status. So trigger column should be basically the last data entry column of our Google Sheet in which if we make any changes in our trigger column, the details or the data of that row will be sent to Pabli Connect using this webhook URL. So that's why I have selected my trigger column as the column of status and the column of status is the last column of my Google Sheet. So that is column H over here. According to your Google Sheet, any column could be your trigger column. You just have to ensure that it is the last data entry column of your Google Sheet and that's the column of status over here. After entering our trigger column, just click on this send test button. After clicking on send test, here it is showing us 
test data sent successfully. Means the data of the first row after headers, means the data of row number two is been sent to Pavli Connect using this webhook URL. So we'll go back to our Pavli Connect workflow. And yes, here in our trigger window, you can see that we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the details of the exact same row, the row number two over here. Here you can see the same trigger column, column H, which we have entered. Here you can see the same status as cancelled. Because we have added the status of this particular event in our Google Sheet as cancelled over here. You can see the same status. You can see the same start time, same start date, same name of the spreadsheet. Then you can see the other details like the email address of the guest which we have added for this event in our Google Sheet. Then you can see the event name, description, end time and end date of the Google Sheet of the event as well. So in this way, we have received all the details of the event which we have added in our Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect. Now after this, just click on this submit button in this initial setup window and after that it will show us setup configured successfully. Now after this, we can see that our Google Sheets account is now connected with Pavli Connect. And after making this connection, just go to extensions once again, Pavli Connect webhooks and this time we have to select send on event. By selecting send on event, we are telling this Google Sheet, we are telling this add-on that whenever any data is changed, any data is updated in our trigger column, automatically send the data of that complete row to Pavli Connect. So if we change the status of any of this event in this trigger column, in column H, in column of status, then automatically the data of that complete row, that complete event will be sent to Pavli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. So here guys, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now let's move to step two. In step two, we have to ensure that only the events to whom we have marked cancelled over here in this Google Sheet, only those events should be cancelled from our Google Calendar account. Now to make this happen, we are going to add a filter condition in our automation workflow in such a way that if we get the response of status, if we get the data of status as cancelled over here from Google Sheet, only in that case, this automation workflow will continue after the filter step. Now to add this kind of filter, this kind of condition in our automation workflow, we will just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, select filter over here. After selecting filter by Pavli, here in select label, we have to select the response, select the label as the status. So we have received the response, the detail of the status of the event from Google Sheet. We have to select this particular label over here. So here in select label from this drop down, we can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Google Sheet over here. Out of all of these responses, select the label of status over here. Then after that, the filter type from this dropdown will be equals to and in value because we want to continue or we want to run this automation workflow only if we get the status as cancelled, we are going to add the value as cancelled over here. So we'll just copy this value from here and then paste it over here. And now just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, it is showing us that the condition is true. This means if we receive the status of the event from Google Sheet as cancelled, only in that case, this automation workflow will continue after this step. If we get any other status other than cancel in this response from Google Sheet, in that case, this automation workflow will not be continued further to the next step. And that event will not be cancelled in our Google Calendar account. So here guys, we have successfully added this filter condition as well. Now let's move to a final step. And in the final step, we will be canceling the event which is marked as cancelled in our Google Sheet. For that, just click on this add action step button after the filter step. And then here in choose app, search for Google Calendar. Just select it. After selecting Google Calendar, in action event from this drop down, select the action event as cancelled event. So here guys, you can see an action event of search and delete event over here. Just select this action event over here. Then just click on connect and then select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Google Calendar account with Pavli Connect. Now to make this connection, click on this sign in with Google button. After clicking on this, select your Google Calendar account in which we want to cancel the event in which we have created all of the events over here. Then just scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google Calendar account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the calendar. So here you can see that in my Google Calendar account, I have created multiple calendars over here. 
So in which particular calendar we are searching for the event and from which particular calendar we want to cancel or delete the event. We have to select that calendar over here. And here in this drop down, you can see a list of all of those calendars as well. So here we have selected the calendar as latest calendar. So we are going to select that same calendar over here. After selecting the calendar, the next thing it asks us is the search term. The help text says enter a search term to find and delete an event that matches these terms in any field except for extended properties. So here guys what we have to enter, we have to enter a search term, a term or the name of the event, the description or anything unique for that event using which this action step of Google Calendar is going to search for the event and delete that event from our Google Calendar account. So here guys we are going to use the name of the event. So usually every new event in our Google Calendar has a unique name in itself and we have received the response of the event title, the name of the event from Google Sheet as well. So here in our Google Sheet, we have entered all the details of the event and when we mark the status of the event as cancelled, the Google Sheet is going to send all the details with the event title as well to Pavli Kenning. So here in our trigger window, you can see that we have received the response of the event title from Google Sheet as well. So using this event title, we are going to search for the event in our Google Calendar account. So here you can see that right now the data for which we have received the response, the data in the first row of our Google Sheet of an event is named as demo event. This is the description. This is the guest email for this event. The start date for this event is 9th of June 2023 at 10 a.m. And the end date is 9th of June 2023 at 10.30 p.m. Sorry, 10.30 a.m. over here. And the status is cancelled. So we have captured the response of this event inside Pavli Connect. So from this trigger responses, we are going to map this response of event title over here in search term. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from previous two step. And out of all of these responses, select this response of event title over here. So in this video, I'm just using an example of event title as the search term. You can basically search for the event and delete that event from your Google Calendar account using any other search term. Like instead of event title, you can use the description, the guest, the date time, anything you would like. After mapping the search term over here as event title, just click on save and send test request. Now when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received the response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the event title which we have mapped over here, the event with this name has been deleted from this calendar in our Google Calendar account. So let's check it. We will go to a Google Calendar account and yes, here you can see that earlier there was an event on 9th of January in our calendar that was named as demo event. And now you can see that using this automation, we have successfully deleted that event from our Google Calendar account. So here you can see that we have successfully created this automation workflow and using this automation, whenever we are going to update the status of an event in our Google Sheet as cancelled, automatically that same event will be cancelled. It will be deleted from our Google Calendar account. So here guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once. We will go to a Google Sheet and we are going to cancel another event from our Google Sheets account. Let's take an example of this event named as Test Event 3. So this is the name of the event test event 3. The date of this event is 11th of June 2023. So here you can see that in my calendar for 11th of June, we have this event named as test event 3. Now I'm going to mark the status of this event as cancelled. So in the status section right now it is active. So from the drop down, I'll just select cancel over here. And this is it. Just now I have cancelled an event, updated an event detail in my Google Sheet as cancelled. And we will see as we update the status, as we cancel this event, instantly within seconds, this event will be deleted from our Google Calendar account. So we'll go to Google Calendar. And yes, here you can see that now that event is deleted from our Google Calendar account. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect is working perfectly fine. And we have tested this automation in real time. So not just these applications, guys, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you can basically get the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can basically clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. 
So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.